Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the fifth episode of our Carrick Property webinar series. I'm Brad Bendel, Group Sales Director for Carrick Property and Carrick Wealth. Um, uh, we have a fantastic launch today. Um, we've been marketing this pro project for some time now, but uh, this is the official launch today. And, and again, it's a slight uh, deviation from our standard buy to let products that we market uh, ordinarily. Um, we are looking at a smart city in uh, Mauritius. Uh, we're very, very proud to be partnering with uh, Joel Kuv and his team of Nova Terra. Um, and um, I think from a South African and African perspective, uh, this project has everything that you're looking for. So without further ado, uh, I'd like to introduce you to Joel Kuv, uh, who's the uh, head of sales and marketing for Novaterra. Uh, and Joel, thank you very much uh, for your participation today and for taking us through this project. Hi, Brad, and hi to everyone attending today. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be present today at this webinar, and thanks a lot for Carrick for the initiative. It's been great working with you guys for a while now, since uh, we've been starting on this project and starting discussions and really excited to be present today to present Pueblo and our project and our smart city in Mauritius uh, to all the people attending. So quite excited and thanks a lot, really happy to be here today. What I propose is before we get started on the actual project is to go quickly through uh, a slide that will illustrate why I think that Mauritius, first of all, is a great destination for investment and for foreigners. Um, Mauritius has been uh, trying to, looking to attract foreigners to come over for, for a while, and there, there's a number of reasons why we've been quite successful at it. Uh, we are today a really stable democracy with a high literacy rate, around 90%. We've got a, got a fluently bilingual population and a very robust legal system. Um, over and above that, we've got a wide choice of education, private education as well, both French and English, um, and a, a really good standard of healthcare on the island. In terms of connectivity as well, uh, whether it's physical connectivity to the rest of the world, Mauritius is extremely well connected, uh, as well as through telecommunications, uh, the government has recently added a third uh, fiber optic cable. So Mauritius has got three different cables, uh, which gives us a very reliable um, telecommunication system today. We've also got a high employment rate in Mauritius, which makes for a very stable country socially, and a high GDP per capita. So all in all, a very stable uh, country, a very pleasant country, obviously, to live in. Um, and hence why I suppose there's already a, a high number of expatriates living here uh, from South Africa, but also from Europe, France, UK, uh, and other destinations. What I propose now, before moving to the actual slides on our project and on Beauplan, is to go through a short video which will physically show you what, what we've been working on and why we're so excited about that project. So let's watch that video and then we'll, we'll go through the details of, of the project itself. Welcome to Beauplan, a unique living environment set around a lake nestled in lush green vegetation. Developed under the Smart City scheme, Beauplan is accessible to Mauritians and foreigners alike. It will soon offer a tremendous lifestyle, combining all the key components of a fully-fledged and creative city within a carefully planned development. Today the scene of major infrastructure works, all implemented to give life to the city, Beauplan is already home to an active business park, a museum and numerous exciting projects. We've at its core a university campus, a school, an equestrian centre and a creative park, the smart city will be supplemented in the next 24 months by a shopping promenade, lakeside offices, as well as a business hotel. Close to the beaches and with direct access from the motorway, Beauplan benefits from an exceptional location 
at the gateway to the north of Mauritius. I am Joël Couve, head of the sales and marketing department of Novatera. We would be delighted, my team and I, to share with you why Beauplan is already a destination in the north of Mauritius and what makes us so passionate about our project. illustrate a little bit in pictures. It's always good to see images of what something looks like. Um, and um, in the next slide, I'm going to go through, I'm going to start by talking about the group. Novatera is in fact the real estate arm of a terror group, um, a group that's been established on the island for 100 and 100, more than 180 years today. Uh, Terra is a group that's been well diversified since today in four, in four main clusters of activity. The sugarcane, which was the original business of the group back in 1838 and which still stands today. Energy, uh, we've, uh, we've got our own power plant within the group, Terra Jeanne, where we produce around 17% of the national energy of Mauritius, as well as uh, an arm which, does in, which is present in brands. We're involved in the distribution of alcohols and spirits, um, as well as representations for many brands, including cosmetics like MAC, L'Occitane de Provence, etc. Um, and then finally, Novaterra, which is a real estate arm of a group. The group owns a large land bank in the north of Mauritius, around 6,700 hectares of land, the vast majority of which is under cultivation of sugarcane. The intention of a group is not to divest from sugarcane, but rather to use a portion of that land and convert it into real estate projects. Now, the blue dot on, on the land bank, uh, everything, all the land in brown that you see on the Mauritian map is the land bank of the group. And the blue dot is where we've chosen to implement our smart city. Now, why that area? Simply because it's an exceptional location for many reasons. From a residential standpoint, we are 10 minutes away from Bay, which remains the main destination for foreigners looking to expatriate to Mauritius or to own property in Mauritius. At the same time, we are 15 minutes away from the capital, Perlui, and around 20 minutes away from Eben, which is today the financial district, both serviced by motorway. So we really are in an exceptional location from the business perspective, but also from a residential perspective, which is quite unique in Mauritius. Since 2016, we've been working at Nova Terra on the planification of our smart city. In fact, we've been accompanied on that journey by a cabinet of urban designers from South Africa, IA Designs. And, um, and since 2016, there's been a number of things that have happened. We've really been uh, working really hard on making projects happen within Beauplan. And I'll, I won't go through every single project, but I think some of them have the merit of being highlighted. In May 2018, we inaugurated the African Leadership College in partnership with uh, the African Leadership University. And today we've got a fully fledged university campus in the smart city, which can house up to 500 students. Last year, we had um, students from around 32 different nationalities uh, present uh, at the university. Uh, that's only the first phase of what we have planned for tertiary education. We've also got a school operationalized from January 2019, an English medium school, Green Coast. And in fact, the second phase of the school is already on, on the way. On the leisure front, we inaugurated in February 2019 our riding club, uh, where we've today got 200 active members, which is right opposite the school. Um, and uh, since 2019, we've really entered the active phase of the development with major infrastructure works taking place around the lake, which is at the heart of the project. And our first major projects, uh, the building works on our first major project starting. The first of this project was uh, our shopping promenade, Mahogany. Uh, the project is gonna be, is completed and is being handed over to us uh, next week. And we have a scheduled opening of a lakeside shopping promenade in May this year. We also started uh, construction on the project that we're here to talk about today, Mango Village 
since November last year. Uh, and that project is due to be completed in September next year. And we're starting construction of our of lakeside offices in July this year. So all of this to show that since 2016, which is only five years ago, which in real estate terms is not a long time, we've been working actively on developing that zone and we've been attracting a lot of interest from investors, from future homeowners, and from people wishing to establish their business in Beauplan. I'll just quickly now move over to the master planning of the zone and to a, a map just illustrating the, the project. The project spans over around 230 hectares of land. And what's important to note is that we obviously, the group obviously owns all the land inside the project. But very importantly, we also own most of the land outside the project. Now, in real estate, the, the ability to control your environment is a critical factor in the, the ability to retain value and, in fact, to grow value on real estate in, in the long term. In the current case, we own, obviously, all the land on the project, but also outside. And therefore, it gives us the ability to guarantee a quality of life and a certain qualitative environment over time. It's difficult on a presentation like this to go over the minute details of the project on the master plan, but um, you will see that there's various colors illustrating the different components of, of a smart city. What is important is that on a project of that scope and of that scale, planification is critical. It's all about anticipating the future needs of uh, the people that will be living, working, setting up their businesses in our project and making sure that as the project reaches maturity, which we think will be reached, will reach full maturity in 15 years, all the problematics of a city, whether it's traffic, whether it's energy, whether it's the treatment of waste, all of that has been anticipated, planned for, and, and phased out gradually. And this is what's being done here. So at the, the, the extremity on the left of the project, the, the zone in green, is the zone earmark for for tertiary education this is where the african leadership college is already present then we move to a zone which is our business district now what's important to note is that throughout the project we've got we will have guidelines we've got clear guidelines as to what can and cannot be done these guidelines define the type of activity that can happen in a certain zone the type of buildings that can come up, the building heights, the occupation on the ground, all of this to ensure uh, qualitative and harmonious development in time. Within our business city, we've launched our first phase recently of service plots within the business city and will be ourselves implementing projects of offices, showrooms within, within the business city. At the heart of a project uh, is, is a lake which is a key feature today. Next to that lake already exists a museum, L'Aventure du Sud, which is a private museum owned by the group, uh, and which in normal times um, welcomes around 150 visit 150,000 visitors annually. Next to it, we've got a, an existing business park, 6,000 square meters of offices, from where I'm talking to you now. And really that lake becomes the, the heart of, of the project. This is where we've been focusing our efforts and putting infrastructure uh, over the past 18 months. The infrastructure works are due to be completed in the next four weeks. And uh, as I said a bit earlier, our major project there, the lifestyle shopping promenade, Mahogany, uh, is due to open on the 26th of May this year. We are already around 86% left on that project with some major brands supermarkets, services, banks present on the project. Next to the shopping promenade, we are starting building our lakeside offices in July this year. 10,000 square meters of prime offices, the Strand, which would be right opposite to Mango Village, the project of apartment we're here to talk about today, and therefore give it a high yielding potential. Next to the lakeside offices, we're in discussion for a, a boutique business hotel, um, and then at the northern part of the project is the residential zone. I should also mention that right at the back of the lakeside shopping promenade uh, will be a private clinic, 
We are again in advanced discussion for the clinic today. A zone earmark for retirement, as well as a big urban park, uh, which becomes the, the sort of green um, green zone of a, of a residential area of a smart city. Within the residential area, a mix of low density residential villas, uh, as well as a medium density residential apartments, like the project we're here to talk about today. At the northern extremity of the project, the school, Green Coast, where we've launched in September last year the second phase of the school, which is due to be completed in September this year. And we already have today around 180 pupils studying at the school. Right opposite the school, the stables, uh, where we've got 200 active members, and also a zone earmark for further sports activities, which make a lot of sense opposite the school. Now, something that's important to note is that Beauplan is not a greenfield project. Beauplan is a, a place where there was, and there still is, a sugar factory, which is now the museum. And therefore, it's a place which has been inhabited by people for over 100 years today. Therefore, we're talking about an environment with mature trees, an environment that's got real character and a true soul today. Uh, hence, I've, I've put some pictures there to illustrate uh, the feeling and the, the, the quality of the place, which is truly exceptional. Now, the smart city will develop on five specific pillars. Live, uh, covering all the residential part, work, all the, the business part, the commercial part, play, everything about to do with leisure, sports, culture, learn, obviously with the university campus and the school already, and further universities looking to join our project. And finally, the creative part, which for us is incredibly important. Creativity is one of the major positioning that we've taken on that project uh, across, in fact, all our five pillars. And we've got a whole zone earmarked for creativity, for culture within the smart city of Beauplan. On the residential part, over time, there will be a mix of apartments, penthouses, townhouses, villas, retirement village, as well as access to the beach. Now, it's important to mention the access to the beach. Um, in a zone two and a half kilometers away, which we own as well, and which is directly at the back of a beach, um, we are working already on a Gulf estate today. And uh, as part of the planification of the Gulf estate, we are planning a beach club uh, where the residents of a smart city, to which the residents of a smart city will have access. Living in Mauritius, for everyone wishing to live in Mauritius, access to the beach and to the sea is really important. And we're well aware of this. And within less than 10 minutes ride in a car, people will have access to a beach club in time. <clears throat> At the bottom right-hand corner of, uh, of that slide, you can see a, a picture of the house, an illustration of the house, which was part of our first service plus development, which illustrates the kind of architectural guidelines that we've got in place within the residential zone. On the business front, um, a wide choice uh, on offer there as well. Our business district, our lakeside offices, the Strand, which we're going to start building in uh, July this year, but also a choice of showroom, a zone earmarked for media industries, uh, which is a big project that we've been working on for a while now and which is progressing at the pace as well as a zone earmarked for research and development. The next is the, the leisure part of the smart city where the, the lifestyle village and retail uh, mahogany shopping promenade which you see on the, the picture of which you see on the bottom right hand corner um, the Lakeside Promenade is already built today and, and tenants have started moving in and we're launching on the 26th of May. Beauplan is also the site of major events every year. Uh, it's uh, uh, already a destination in the north for events, creative events, cultural events, concerts. Um, and the idea is over time to 
increment that with further activities, creative activities and cultural activities. The leisure side is also about creating an environment which is cyclable, which is pedestrian and fully connected. We want people to be able to walk to work. We want kids to be able to cycle to school, to walk to school. And everything's been planned accordingly with cycle paths, with running tracks, with a huge park at the heart of the project. Because this project is all about creating quality of life for its inhabitants as well as for the investors. On the education front, um, obviously the university campus is already present, uh, the African Leadership College, um, Green Coast International School, which is the English medium school, which was operational, which has been operational since 2019, and uh, the second phase of which is being constructed as we speak. Finally, the creative side. Um, within the creative park today, we've got a number of operators. We've got the biggest stone school on the island already present there. We've got a beautiful jewelry craft center uh, where we're lucky enough to have the Patrick Mavros Atelier. Um, for some of you who might be familiar, I know that uh, in South Africa, for example, they, they place their, their jewelry and their works of art in some of the high-end hotels, but really, truly exceptional artisans uh, in the, the creative park, African trader. And we're working with um, cultural players to further increment this, this zone with new players, new activities to really make it a hub, a cultural hub in the north of the island. Which then takes me to Mango Village, the project we're here to talk about today. Mango Village is our first built-up project, and we are incredibly excited by this project at Novaterra. The building works have already started on Mango Village since November last year, uh, with earthworks taking place last year, and, and building works started since uh, about a month ago. So what I propose that we do, uh, before I get into further details, is to show you a short video on the project and why we feel so passionate about, about that project, about Mango Village. Um, and then we'll, I'll get into some more specific details on, on the project itself. Hi, I am Joel Kou, Head of Sales and Marketing Department of Novaterra, developer of the Smart City of Beauplan. I am thrilled to be standing here on the site of Mango Village, the first apartments project of Beauplan, at the heart of a smart city where building works have already started. Available to Mauritians and foreigners alike, Mango Village offers a choice of two bed and three bedroom apartments, as well as three bedroom duplexes with their own private gardens and swimming pool. These spacious apartments benefit from an exceptional location at the heart of a smart city and its lakeside environment. Within walking distance, the future homeowners will find a shopping promenade with a supermarket and a wide choice of shops, services and food outlets. I am now where our future coffee shop will stand, overlooking the lake. What a great spot to enjoy your coffee in the morning. Alongside the apartments, this pedestrian alley of century-old mango trees takes you to an urban park where all generations are invited to meet and relax in a lush green environment. Investing in Beauplan means betting on a guaranteed quality of life, but also the security of a sound investment within a carefully planned development. That is why we are proud to envision here in Beauplan the perfect city in which to grow lives. I'm sure that by the end of that webinar, people will be sick and tired of, of seeing me and hearing me. So I promise this is the last video you're going to see of me. Right, so Mango Village. Um, it's important to, to locate Mango Village and, and where that project is at the heart of Beauplan and of our smart city. 
as this was our first built-up project uh, of a smart city that we are developing ourselves, it was really important for us to put it really at the heart of the project in what we felt was the best location. So um, we're going to move quickly to the next slide. Apologies if this is not moving. There we go. Right. So that slide illustrates very well the lake at the heart of the project. You can see next to the lake, a mahogany shopping promenade. Um, next to the shopping promenade, the Strand, our lakeside offices, which will be completed in uh, November of next year. Building works are starting in July this year. Next to the offices, the boutique business hotel. So between the three of those, this creates the lakeside environment. Uh, and in fact, around the lake itself is a promenade where people are invited to walk uh, and it's incredibly pleasant. Now, at the back of the strand, you will see the site earmarked for Mango Village. Next to it, the site which has been earmarked for our first retirement project. And what's not visible today uh, on, the, on that particular slide is uh, at that same roundabout next to the retirement project, uh, on the right-hand side is the site where we're working on a, a private clinic, uh, which we're hoping to be operational by the end of next year. So, all in all, uh, at the heart of Beauplan, most of these projects are scheduled to be ready by 2022. Now, Mango Village is a project that will be phased. Uh, we are today, uh, we've got today the first phase, uh, which has been launched. So we're talking about 18 apartments, a mix of two bedroom and three bedroom apartments, as well as eight duplexes. We are ready to trigger the second phase as well. So as soon as we'll have sold out the first phase, we'll move over to the second phase and subsequently to the third phase. Um, and what's going to change is that uh, during the second and third phases, we're going to start introducing as well penthouses. On this first project, we've chosen to be accompanied by a reputable Mauritian architect um, who has designed some of our most beautiful hotels on, on the coast. Uh, it was really important to create something that was both qualitative, practical, and that gave uh, a certain character to, to the area uh, that would blend in within the natural uh, environment. We've got beautiful, the beautiful mango alley of trees right at the back, which takes you to the park. Right across the road, you, you will have the shopping promenade and the lake. So it's, it really is in a prime location. You will see that the architecture as well has got a, a bit of a nod to our industrial heritage on the sugarcane with the use of metal, wood. Um, we are on ground plus two, but even though it's quite a low rise building, we've chosen to have uh, lifts uh, for convenience. Um, so we'll have it during, in the two bed, we're talking about two bed and two bathroom apartments, three bed, two bathrooms, and the duplexes, which have got their own private garden with the possibility of also adding to those a uh, swimming pool. Now, what's interesting as well is that over the past year, the Mauritian government has lowered the threshold for residency to $375,000, um, which makes it really attractive for people to invest. Now, why invest in Mango Village? The first thing is that it's part of a carefully master plan development. The notion of urban planning is really important, especially in Mauritius. And over here, we can guarantee the quality of the environment in time. Um, buying it on a project uh, outside of a carefully planned development always leaves you tributary to what happens around you. And there you've got the future inhabitants, the future owners will have full visibility on what happens around them. It really is that project at the heart of our smart city with direct access to the motorway and to the main business hubs of the island, close to the lakeside promenade and offering a great lifestyle. Let's now talk about some figures. Uh, 
Um, with financial institutions on the island, there's the ability to leverage that project up to 60%, which is not negligible. And based on current market rates, we believe, we feel quite comfortable that this project could achieve around a 4% rental yield. Now, the interesting field thing with the ability to yield that project is the offices opposite. The strand, our lakeside offices, are due to be completed at around the same time as the apartments. And with 10,000 square meters of offices, we plan to have around 800 people working right opposite on the other side of the road, which means a high potential to yield for these apartments. In terms of price range, we're going to range from, 200, from roughly $255,000 up to $425,000 for the three-bedroom duplex. Now, what we've done to increase practicality is that we've worked with an interior design cabinet to create a decorative pack. In other words, for someone living abroad for whom it's more difficult to furnish an apartment, they've got the ability to buy the deco pack and therefore buy a turnkey project. Uh, we go all the way in the furnishing up to the soft furnishings, um, and therefore someone looking to buy to yield would really it would really make their lives really simple because they as soon as the project is ready we would fit out the apartment completely and it would then be ready to go on the market to yield it. Now what's interesting to see is that based on that threshold of 375,000 US. Someone buying a three-bedroom apartment and taking the decorative pack at $80,000 would reach $383,000 and hence be eligible for residency. Obviously, on the duplex, uh, with a higher price tag, you would reach that price, that threshold, even without the decorative pack. Unfortunately, on the two-bedroom apartment, uh, even with the decorative pack, we don't reach the, the residency threshold. So all in all, whether it's an investment purely, uh, purely a financial investment, um, or whether it's uh, someone looking to buy to live, on both sides, I think it's a highly attractive project. The project is already on sale today, and we've had we've attracted a lot of interest, uh, and therefore I would encourage any party interested to move quite quickly. So, Brad, I think that uh, in, in, in a few minutes, I think, I hope certainly that it gives a good overview of our project and of our vision um, to all the attendees today. And I thank all of them for, for attending and for their patience. Um, and once again, I'd like to thank Carrick for partnering with us on this and for hosting that webinar. Uh, and I've personally been very happy to be present today and to present that project, which we're so passionate about. Joel, thank you very much. Um, it's been uh, wonderful hosting this uh, webinar with you. Um, I'm really, really excited about about uh, Mango Village and Boplan. Um, I think it's a wonderful, wonderful location. Um, it's a, a new concept in Mauritius, certainly a new concept for Carrick properties uh, to to venture into the smart city space. Uh, but nevertheless, it's it's just a, a fantastic uh, development. Um, it, it ticks all the boxes, as you've just said. Um, you know, we it, we it's a great investment case. Uh, we're able to secure LTVs of 60%, 4% rental, um, and and uh, above all else, it's in Mauritius, and it's four hours away from South Africa, which is just uh, perfect. Um, in fact, for all Africans, it's just a great destination. Always has been, always will be. Um, and as you said, uh, ticks all the boxes in terms of political stability, et cetera, et cetera. So um, just a great uh, turnkey project. Um, and we too, Joel, are very proud to be partnering you um, and, and Nova Terra. And thank you for uh, today. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of our webinar today. Um, please contact us should you have any further queries. Um, we haven't had a question and answer session, but the session has been recorded, so we will pick those up and we'll certainly answer all your questions directly as we uh, pick them up later on today. Thank you for your attendance today and uh, take care and see you next week at the same time. Bye-bye. Thank you very much, Brad. Thanks to everyone. Bye-bye.